All right, it's a lovely evening in Florida, and today I'm going to be talking about probiotics for plants. So just like us in our human bodies, plants need probiotics too. Probiotics basically provide a protective covering over the plants and help them against you know, disease resistance, drought, stress, like transplanting shock. And so what you can do to help your plants out, especially if you're living in an urbanized area with what we call urban soil, is just give them a little dose of some probiotics. So you can make it yourself, like go collect leaves from the forest and add those to your garden, or you can buy a product, something like this. Um, this is called Mycorrhizal Plus and it's a powder like form and this contains 15 different species of fungus and bacteria so you know hopefully some of them work for your area every unique region soil climate has their own you know batch of beneficial fungi and bacteria and so um, you know hopefully some of these will stick and the other ones will just die out. Some of them are probably already naturally occurring in your area, so you don't have to worry about introducing new species. So what I'm gonna do is I got about a tablespoon of this probiotic mix, and I'm gonna just add it into some like potting soil, composty stuff I have, and that will just spread it out a little bit more, and then I'm gonna use it to you know put on my favorite little avocado tree here so check it out so here is my favorite little avocado this is a day avocado i got from my friend hyrie and this um, beneficial microbes you don't want to put it on the surface of the mulch because the sun is just going to fry it up and they're going to die like these are living organisms i mixed into this soil here and what we're going to do is we're going to peel back the mulch and try to get in touch with the tree's root system. And so, because like the, that the fungi are gonna live in the plant roots or on the plant roots, basically extending the reach of the plant roots to help the tree get more nutrients and water and all those protective capacities that I mentioned. So I'm just digging down and I don't want to damage the roots. So I'm starting to see some nice little roots here and I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff on. So a little sprinkle, sprinkle. And ideally you would do this at the time of planting so that you can get it more thoroughly into the root zone, like mixed in the whole way. Um, but you know, you do what you can sometimes. And so then I'm going to cover it back up and I'm going to water it in and then let Mother Nature do her thing. You could do this to every plant in your garden, but for me, I'm just um, doctoring up my favorite fruit trees. Alright guys, so now you know how to give your plants probiotics. Remember, happy soil, happy plants, yummy food, happy people, keep the cycle going, um, keep them alive by adding more compost and mulch over time and they will, you know, cultivate and multiply into your whole yard. You might want to reapply you know, once a year or so, if you're just getting started, if you don't have them. I'd like to thank Revival Gardening for um, supplying me with this packet for my video here. And because these um, fungi, beneficial fungi and bacteria, they are not really easy to find. They're not at big box stores. So order them online, um, Revival's in Orlando, Florida or you can check out my video on capturing your own microorganisms from the wild, from the forest. Um, look up IMO, indigenous microorganisms. So take it easy, y'all.